Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lion here, and today I'm going to be telling you which minion is better, snow or clay. I have done all the calculations, I have tested everything, I've got a few more things like, are plasmic buckets really worth getting? Are they really worth getting? We're going to find out in this video, so stay tuned. We're going to head on over and test this. So, I've done all the calculations already, and so 158.5k, that's how much this snow minion with just a regular enchanted lava bucket made me after just a little bit over 24 hours i'd say it's about it's about 30 hours maybe maybe a bit under 30 hours i would have preferred for it to be exact but things happen so we're still going to find out which one is better now this is the one with the plasma bucket this is 171k with the plasma bucket so it's making about 13k more than just the one with the regular enchanted lava bucket and now we're going to go see how much of the clay minions make so that's 158k with just a regular lava bucket just regular enchanted lava this one is 141k so as you can see snow is a little bit better and this one is also with regular enchanted lava bucket it's level 11 as well as that snow minion same upgrade same everything and then if i go on over to the plasmic bucket this one is 152k my bad guys 152k with the plasma bucket and it is also level 11 same upgrades just the only difference is the plasma bucket so Snow is a little bit better, but the main thing I'm going to find out, because we all know that snow is better now, the main thing I'm going to find out, guys, is how long will it take you to pay back that plasma bucket. So if I go into the auction house, we're going to see how much heat cores cost. If you guys didn't know, you need two heat cores to make a plasma bucket, because you need one of these to merge each two enchanted lava buckets together, and you need two molten lava which will require four enchanted lava buckets so that is about 1.5 mil just to buy the two heat cores they're not usually 740k they're usually about 7 750k and if i go into slash bazaar we're gonna go and check how much the enchanted lava costs you can buy that for about 349k so that rounds out to about 2.9 million just to purchase yourself a plasma bucket for a minion which is crazy high for just a 13k difference so if i take that that, uh, if I take that 2.9 mil and divide that by 13,000, that is 221.72. Rounds up to about 222 days. So that's how long it'll take you to pay back the uh, plasma bucket. So that is crazy. I do not want to wait 222 days just to make my my money back for purchasing that plasma bucket. You know, some would say it's a long-term investment, but I would say that's just a terrible deal. So that's not something I personally would do. And it's probably a little bit less because I know the, uh, the buckets right now are going for a lot higher than they normally are. If I go view graphs, uh, sell price, the sell price has skyrocketed right now. So if you guys are holding on to any enchanted the lava buckets now is the time to sell i might actually sell some of mine because of how high it is but the price is a lot higher than normal so maybe it's a little bit less than 222 but that is the uh that is the amount that i got so i hope this video has helped you out maybe it's not worth getting plasma buckets after i'm looking at this but snow is definitely better clay is cheaper is it worth the 10k difference to get a snow or should you just stay at clay because remember that's 141k for the regular enchanted lava and that's 100 158k so it's about a 16k difference you know not too not too big but at the same time you know snow is a lot harder to get than clay so i hope you enjoyed this video please drop a like please subscribe if you guys haven't already and that's gonna be it so have a good day and peace out